Hi, it's um, Tuesday, March or April the 5th, and uh, I've been on for a couple days, so I'll uh, fill you in what's going on. Uh, first of all, there's an opening coming up at Bohemia at 6 o'clock on Thursday night, so it's always a fun evening out, great food and cool people, and the art's always pretty good as well. The uh, Fanshawe graduate, third year graduate exhibition was up on the weekend and there's some pretty impressive drawers there so that was great to see that they'll be infusing the community with their skill sets. Um, Thursday night is also the beginning of our spring and print making workshops with Lakeshore Moon and uh, we still have spots left so if you're interested in doing all or one or two or three of um, any of that series uh, please contact me as you can just to let us know uh, if we're able to run the workshop. Okay, so you can uh, email me at jp at jillpridestudios.ca or call me at 705-719-0312 to reserve your space. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, I got some um, news from the Hotbox project I applied for. It was to work with sort of a um, we worked to work with an international artist on an outdoor installation uh, in the environment. And I thought it would have been a good opportunity for me to sort of take my work and do the 3D, uh, sort of learn some skill sets and some things you need to consider when you're working outside the confines of wall, of uh, hanging on a wall, or um, uh, working with the public. And, and uh, municipal governments to get your work into you know, public areas. So, anyway, I got, uh, unfortunately, I was refused from that project, but uh, I went and visited the websites of the artists that were chosen, and uh, other than them being primarily male, um, they were already um, very active in, in the making of sculptures for themselves, so it um, doesn't look like it was. As much of a teaching uh, project as it was, uh, he needed hands and minds who had already done the sort of work to uh, help him. So, anyway, it's a little bit disappointing, but um, what it does tell me is that if you know I want to try and do some sort of mentorship program again, I already I need to be able to demonstrate that I understand how to work in a 3D or sculptural way. So, it's good learning experience and. Uh, sort of reaffirmed where I'd like to go with my work. Um, I'm painting my space, as you know, and um, I, you know, something that I'm struggling with is, okay, uh, if this is, if I'm turning it into more of a gallery slash storefront, um, all of the different obligations, responsibilities that come with that, and take away from just, you know, having it as a studio practice, but uh, you know, I need to find ways to get people into the studio as well, and um, so just trying to brighten it up, but really eliminating a lot of space that I could sort of move into and spread out in if I want to go in a sculptural way. So it's uh, kind of an ongoing battle there. Um, you know, ultimately I could change it back if I, if I want to or need to, so I'm not too worried about that, but uh, just sort of concerned. Um, but it is looking bright and cheerful, and uh, I look forward to people coming. Look forward to people coming in, um, and uh, yeah. So uh, the other thing is, you know, as my work is changing, um, and I have sort of patrons contacting me who have bought before and bought my older style of palette knife work. It's uh, you know, uh, again, kind of a struggle to, okay, well, I know these people are coming by, but I don't have any of this work left in this space. Uh, you know, do you sort of get down to work and do a few paintings in style that you know they like? Uh, you know, and it's just something that artists have to continually struggle with as they uh, explore their, you know, their growth as a, an artist. So, oh, what else? Oh, I visited Awkward Stage on um, Sunday. She had a huge photo shoot there, and that was just absolute chaos. So, 
as much as, you know, I don't have a whole lot of people coming into my space. Uh, I definitely wouldn't have wanted what was going on there. They had snakes, they had hairdressers, they had photographers, they had hairstylists, they had models, and they're all just sort of in there, moving around one another, um, trying to get their photos done. So that was just crazy to see, and uh, I was happy to be able to escape to painting walls in my studio. Anyway, Elena expects to get some really great photo shoots for her uh, style book, so that's great. Um, uh, cutting out some letters for the new sign. My husband cut out it. It's like a sandwich board. He did a really nice job on the, the design. It's nice and heavy, so I'm hoping it won't blow away. And Alana taught me a little trick of printing out my letters in style that I want and then cutting out vinyl that I sort of already had that had been donated to me from Tony Y in London, Ontario. So uh, just doing my own lettering for the sandwich board. Not too bad. You know, once you have templates to work from, the cutting doesn't take too long. And using tape to line it all up, so it's, it's going pretty fast. It's got a chalkboard screwed on to the uh, back of the sandwich board so I can write daily messages. Um, oh, I talked to uh, Deanna Del Vecchio from the uh, Tread Lightly organization uh, about their upcoming project. Um, they're doing a call right now for teenage artists, uh, you know, in school, um, to create an environmental work, and it's being jury. And uh, so, if there are any teachers or classrooms out there that are dealing with environmental issues, I encourage you to contact Tread Lightly. www.treadlightly.com, I believe. It's about climate change education. And, and um, they're also connected with taking it global. So what's going to happen is uh, they put this call out across the world, and students who are juried in will then um, be forwarded my information as an artist who's dealing with environmental global issues. And they are to sort of prepare some questions for me. Um, and then we're going to be holding sort of a world conference for youth on April 20th where I'll be online to answer questions, talk a little bit about my work, my challenges as an artist, um, and, and I'm hoping that I'll get to see a bit of their work so that I can, you know, tell them that the issues, just see where we're connected in terms of the issues that we're all concerned with. So I think that's going to be an interesting opportunity and uh, it'll be nice to sort of reconnect with some students. Um, what else? Oh, uh, tomorrow night at the Rotunda and Rotunda Hall in the city of uh, city building of Barry, there will be an opening reception for the Barry Art Club's annual art exhibition. And so I think there's about 53 artworks up um, all around the Rotunda. So you know, if you are want to take in, uh, have friends in the Barry Art Club and want to take in what they've been up to over the last year. It would be a good opportunity. There's a huge variety of work. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how they hung it. And that reception is from uh, 7 to 9, I believe. And there'll be snacks and things there. So come on out. It'll be a good time. Uh, that's about it. I, uh, you know, just updating my Facebook. Um, about the, about the uh, workshop and uh, um, going to now start applying to some public art galleries for some exhibitions um, that, uh, you know, surrounding the work I just did, rural transitions, so, and uh, forward, had to forward some images off to the Images Studio Tour, which isn't until October, but they're already looking to print their brochures and get their website up for that. So they're really starting early, which is nice to know. They're so organized. So I did that today. I also got contacted today by Kathy Van Lesky from the London Free Press. So I forwarded her my press release on the global landscapes that are coming to the Museum London's Art Rental Gallery. And because she wasn't able to do an article on me the last time, um, 
uh, when I sorry when I was at the art exchange. Uh, you know, she said next time you're having a show, please contact me. So that's nice that she actually sort of followed through on, on uh, what she said she'd do. So I'm hoping that I'll get a little bit of coverage there. Also, uh, tickets are on sale for uh, London Time Ranger 2, uh, which is a fantastic opportunity for you to buy some art. But rather than actually dole out money, you dole out volunteer time. And uh, I was there last year uh, as an artist, selling, uh, as one of the artists who was at a piece bought by Time Ranger. Um, and my uh, work has been purchased by for me again this year for the Time Ranger. I'm not sure if I'll be able to make that event, but that is April 26th. And uh, it's at least twenty dollars to get in, and uh, then you donate time. So, and, and you donate time based on how much the art piece is worth. Is worth. So, let's say the piece is worth four hundred and fifty dollars. You would donate forty-five hours of volunteer time uh, to earn that piece. Uh, what did happen last year is that. Um, if people were, if there was a bunch of people willing to donate the maximum amount of hours for a piece, then everybody's name gets put into an envelope, and then it's just sort of a random draw. And I didn't really care for that. I was, you know, to me, I, I would be more about if I'm willing to donate 85 hours for that year and 50 dollars piece, and I want to bid the full amount right now. Um, I think I should be rewarded. Or the person um, donating there should be rewarded right away. So, anyway, that's just my feeling. But you know what? They're still doing a great job. They're paying artists for their work, which is fantastic. So, if you have an opportunity to go out to that do. I'm going to sign off because I've been on for 12 minutes now. <laughs> I'm trying to get shorter, but I'm getting longer. Um, so, anyway. Uh, uh, always check Akimbo for call for submissions. There's a, a bunch posted. And uh, um, please stop by Lake Shoreview and visit our, our shops as they change and grow and, and whatever else. Okay. I'm off. Have a great day, everybody.